What is going on everybody, it's Prairie 76 here, and today I'm coming at you with another Firmison video. Now, last time we were over in the mountains, or known as Elk Mountain, but we had to get out of that area. There was a couple of issues going on with where we were working at, and the state came in and said we can't not be there anymore. So, I'm having to pack everything up and move. I've been over here looking at a new area in Wyoming and I'm about to go see exactly how good this area is. It's small, it's only got a tent on the property but it's better than having nothing around. We are starting to get closer to the area. It's been a long drive, I can tell you that. All I know is I am kind of hurting from sitting in this truck all day. And y'all might be asking, why do I have this bright red Dodge? What happened to the old white Ford that I had? Well, one of the issues was with the Ford that it had it was pretty on up there in miles so I decided I'm gonna go with something a little bit older that might have lower mileage or might be just better and all all over the place so I've seen this online it cost me a little bit of money but hey I was able to get that Ford oh boy tree chopped down on the road now, if I had that Ford, it would not have been able to make it up that, but with the Ford, there were a couple of issues going on with it due to the high mileage. It had over 400,000 miles on it, and this truck right here only has about 150,000. So right there, that was just one of the good things about going for this truck compared to the old Ford that I had. I'm going to have to get in touch with somebody about getting some of this stuff fixed up. There's a lot of trees in the road and I really don't like that. Because it just makes it a little bit harder trying to get up to these areas. I'm going to get it this way. This is probably not the right way. No, it's not. It's up this way. Forget it. This is the property I'm going to be buying anyways. Yep. Right here's the tent. Small little gravel pull-off area. Nothing too expensive. My biggest issue is right now, I'm having to start all over. I'm going to shut this truck off. It's been a long drive. No one knows. It's not a bad little area. A small little tent right here. A little generator. Hey, that's good. Generator can power this fan on some of these hotter nights. Got a small little lounge area sitting right there. This duffel bag has got all my clothes in it. Because I've come up here once or twice. Just looking around at the area. This is a pretty big area. There is a lot of land over here. I think what I'm standing on right now is like 250 acres or something like that of land. Which is actually a good bit. But it's all pure forest. Like this whole canyon going all the way down there is supposed to be a lot of mine I don't know what these vehicles are doing right here they say recycle on them hmm that's interesting they say recycle on them but I don't know what they're over here for because they look like they've been literally thrown off a cliff or something just sitting down here. 
That's not a bad little area though. Got a ton of woods all around here. Got some nice dirt paths. Other than some of them that had the trees growing on them. And there's already a tree chopped down right here. Oh, well, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this tree finished getting chopped up. It sucks that I had to move areas. But the good thing is with me selling that Ford, I have a little bit more money in my pocket. I was able to sell it for probably about 25000 And I bought that Dodge over there. For a little over eight grand. Now a lot of y'all plates, but sitting there wondering, that's the second gen Dodge. They're normally going for twice the amount of that. I'm just gonna say I knew someone that was able to get it a little bit cheaper from them because they were looking to sell it, but they wanted it to go to someone that was actually gonna try to take care of it. They didn't want it to go to someone that was just gonna sit there high RPMs all day every single day they wanted someone to actually sit there take care of the truck like it was meant to be yeah so use it for working and stuff but I'd be purposely trying to beat the truck up and hey that's one thing about me I do try to keep anyways yeah I do work like this I try to take care of my vehicles Now I just need to move the truck up this way. But this is a nice truck right here. It's got a nice 24 valve Cummins turbo diesel sitting right here. This thing's pretty powerful. Got one battery. I'm surprised because that Ford had two of them to power the whole truck. But this thing is still very clean. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty good work truck. It's got a lot of power for hauling if I ever need it to. Now let's see. Did I cut these way too long to go on the back of that truck? I don't think I did. Perfect one. I'm not going to be hauling a ton of these in the back of that truck just because of just how large and how many of these there are I'm look I am debating on getting a new trailer though something a little bit larger than the one I have right now But at the same time, I need a gooseneck. It's like, I need the goose. There's a gooseneck trailer I was looking at that it's not that bad on price, but at the same time, it's an arm and a leg. But then I seen a skid steer the other day that would help me out tremendously when it came getting some of this stuff sorted out so it's like I'm stuck between two different things either getting a new skid steer because I've never had one for loading this truck these trucks and stuff up or I just turn around and get me a new trailer for more profit but it's like right now I'm debating on it due to yeah the new trailer would help out in the long run especially with the not knowing this area so well 
but the skid steer, I'd be able to chop these trees a little bit longer and be able to pick them all the way up. Because that one is way too heavy for me to even try to pick up right here. I can't even roll that one. And also the skid steer, if I got one of those, it could help me out when it came to digging a flatter spot to build a house. Because this area is not really good for even trying to build a house. Because all the hills and stuff around here just make it where the land does not perk enough to even attempt to, it, to do it. I'd be getting ready to go after I sell this I'm gonna see how much the wood goes for around this area since it is a whole new town compared to where I've been working at I'm seeing exactly how much the wood might be that one just fell off this is one of them that should have went in the bed of the truck. So, this is loaded up. I'm going to take this down to the sawmill see what the price is for some of this. Hoping I actually get a decent amount. My biggest thing at the moment is just going to be can I make it around all those trees as I'm fully loaded down? Because I can tell the top of this truck's a little on the top heavy side. not to jackknife or hit anything. That tree is just off the ground perfect enough where it's too tall for the front end to climb right over it. It's like I know there's one more. I don't know, some of these hills would not be bad to go snowboarding down in the uh, winter time. I think it would be pretty fun. Only thing I'd have to watch out for is some of these trees in the middle of the road. Be having fun zipping down the road, down these hills, unless you know, get whacked by a tree or something. I don't think that would be fun. Okay. I do not know how that happened. Let me see if I can try to push this over. I don't... That was a little on the heavy side, but... That would helped out a little bit. I find it quite funny how that wood just helped out like it did. Oh, two grand right there. That's not bad. That's better than what I was making. So, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to drive into town. There is a shop over in town somewhere that I'm going to try to go find. It's supposed to be this way. Nope, it's the other way. 
since I'm so new to the area, I'm having to use my GPS right now. This truck is actually pretty darn smooth when it comes to driving. I think that was a turn. I think right over there is where the shop is. That right here is another turn. right here. There was there was a trailer I seen not too long ago. This might be it. No it's not. It was a transport for logs. It was a small gooseneck trailer. I cannot find it anymore. I got some decent things going on sale right now. Only one bad thing is this is the only thing that I could probably use right here. Because that is for forestry. But the problem is the price is $119,000. I've only got $31,000. can't remember exactly where this piece is. It could be in Tipper's. Because it is a belt. It's a bell loader. I mean, not a bell loader. It's a gooseneck that has the ability for log forks, kind of like that. But it's a gooseneck. Right there. That's kind of like what that's what I'm looking for right there. And the, the price of it right there is twenty thousand. So twenty thousand for that kind of trailer right there for the gooseneck. They've also got a different one. They got this, and that's a lot longer. And that's for 17000 which I might go for that one. But there's something else I need to go for for first. Right now, we're just looking online at some of the stuff that I can have sent directly to the dealership to pick up. Which, the main thing I'm going to be looking for is going to be kind of like a skid steer. I'm looking at this one right here, because it's 25000 That's a lot cheaper than half of these other ones. So that 25,000 one right there would probably work out pretty darn good when it comes to getting the material I need. But at the same time, it's like I'm gonna need a bigger trailer to be able to haul anything with it. Because that skid steer can pick up longer logs than I can by hand. So it's like I'm debating, should I get a new gooseneck trailer? And sell this one or should I go for the Bobcat but there's another way I could do it and that's by going for a loan I can go online when I get back up to the tent tonight and look about going for a loan and see if I get automatically approved because if I do I can turn around and buy both of them and just slowly pay the loan off Which, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And don't forget to, forget to subscribe. And stay safe out there. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.